Hi there, in this video we are going to go ahead and we're going to prove the weak law of large numbers. So first of all, what is the weak law of large numbers? Well, it says mathematically, in the limit that my sample size tends to infinity, the probability that the sample mean, xn bar, differs from the population mean, mu, by some amount which is greater than, let's say, some small number eta, has got to be equal to zero. Okay, so what does this actually mean intuitively? Well, it means that I have some sort of population, but I only have, in reality, a sample from that population. And within that sample, I calculate the sample mean, xn bar. Then as I increase my sample size, so as I let n, the size of my sample, tend to infinity, then my sample mean, xn bar, tends to the population mean mu. Okay, so how do we go ahead and prove this really, really important result in statistics? Well, we just use Chebyshev's inequality. Just reminding ourselves what Chebyshev's inequality is from last time, we have that the probability that some random variable x differs from its mean mu in absolute value by some amount, let's say eta, it's got to be less than or equal to the variance of that random variable x divided by eta squared. But, of course, x is completely arbitrary in this case. We can just replace x by another random variable, which is xn bar, and this relationship still has to hold. But this right-hand side here, the variance of xn bar, we can actually calculate in the case that we've got OID observations from population. Well, what's xn bar? xn bar is just equal to 1 over n times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi, which, when I take the variance of both sides, because I don't have to worry about the covariance terms because of the fact that I've got IOD observation, I get the fact that the variance of xn bar is just equal to 1 over n squared times the sum of i equals 1 to n of the variance of xi, where each xi has a variance of sigma squared, so I just get n sigma squared divided by n squared. So I'm just left with sigma squared over n as the variance of uh, the, the sample mean. So I can just write this right hand side as sigma squared divided by n times eta squared, which we know as n tends to infinity, so as this sort of denominator tends to infinity, we know that this term as a whole is going to tend to zero. So, in a sense, we have just proved the weak law of large numbers, which says that as n tends to infinity, the probability that my sample mean differs from the population mean by some amount eta has to be equal to zero. So, we, we've proved the weak law of large numbers because we have shown that the probability that xn bar differs from the population mean mu by some amount in absolute value which is greater than eta has to be less than or equal to in this case in the limit that n tends to infinity it's got to be less than or equal to zero and there's no way it can be less than zero so we have shown that the probability of xn bar differing from the sample mean mu by some amount which is greater than eta in absolute value has to in fact be equal to zero in the limit that n tends to infinity.